Hey, welcome to Color Up. We all know that the seven is eventually gonna show, so why don't we take advantage of that and play the short game? Well, in today's video, I show you how. Today's video is part of our Dice Advice series, and it was submitted by Chris B. from Colorado. Thank you, Chris, for sending this in. And he likes to call this strategy the short game. So with this strategy, he wants you to get in and get out. He starts with a $66 inside bet. He has it working on the come out roll. And if he hits it, which is, this is a $15 bets and $18 bets on the six and the eight. All of these, if they win, you're gonna get a payout of $21. What you're gonna do is drop the dealer $1. Now you have $22 to now press everything one unit. Now we've got a $20, we've got $20 on the five and nine, and we've got 24 on the six and eight. We're looking for three hits, and then we're gonna go off on our bets. So now that we're up to $24, if we hit one of these numbers again, we're going to win $28. This time we have enough, we'll go ahead and keep $6, and we'll press it up another $22 or another single unit. So at this point, we'll be up to $25 on the five and nine, we'll have $30 on the six and the eight, and this, if we hit it for, if we hit the inside for our third hit, we'll go ahead, we'll win $35 and we'll go off on our bets and then we'll just wait, wait until a seven appears and then we'll start again with a new shooter. I'm assuming we start back down at the $15 level. He didn't really mention it, but I think that's the case. Now, if a seven rolls before we get our three hits and then come down, the next time we play, we're gonna try for five hits to recoup our money and then profit. If if again, the seven rolls before we can hit get our five hits, then we'll try four hits and down. So let's go ahead and see if we can get in and get out and color up with the short game. All right, we got a $300 bankroll. We're at a $5 table. We're gonna go ahead and start with a $66 inside bet. Go ahead and give the, dollar, the dealer $70 and have them get a setup here. $4 change back to the player. Going to have these working for the come out roll. So those are on. We got a new shooter. And here we go. Let's hit an inside number. And we've got a 10. Point's going to be 10. We'll mark the 10. Looking for three hits. Here we go. And there's a 9. This 15 is going to pay 21. We're gonna go ahead and drop the dealer $1. Now we have $22 to bump everything up a unit. Okay, here we go. Let's see another inside number. And we got a three, three craps. My dice rolled there, but we don't care about that. And we've got a four, four hard. Shooting outside, we need inside, and no, not gonna happen. We got a seven, seven out. So this is going to go away. Puck's off, and we're gonna have a new shooter coming out. Again, we'll drop the dealer $70, and get set up with 66 inside. Four change to the player. We're gonna be working on the come out. Here we go, shooter. And seven, seven on the come out. Yikes. This is a, now a video about you watching my, ter my terrible hand skills and dealing. Okay, let's follow it up. You don't have to if you don't want to with the same shooter. So we got uh, 50, 60, $70 again. Let's go ahead and get set up. We're gonna try working again. 
$4 change to the player. And since I'm leaning over, I might as well show you my hat. This is actually my wife got me. She got me a nice embroidered hat color up. So thank you to my wife. And uh, I'm wearing this today because I'm out of hats. So if you do want to mail me one, you want a quick shout out in the videos, the PO box is down in the description. Here we go. See what happens. And there's a nine. All right. So we'll mark the nine. It's a $15 bet. It's going to pay 21. We'll go ahead and drop the dealer $1. And then we can bump everything up. And here we go. Let's see another inside number. Four, four hard. And seven. So unfortunately, I am not getting a chance to show Chris B's strategy because I am rolling terrible. That happens sometimes with these strategies. You just never know. No matter how good of an idea we think they are, if the dice don't roll our way, then it's just going to be bad. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We actually have the one, so we'll go ahead and give the dealer the ones. We got the change. And it looks like this might be our last roll already. This will be a very short video. I have to redo this. I mean, this is pretty standard. Six, you know, an inside bet. Press a couple, but... You know, if you're not, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. We're going to have this working. It's not much I can say. All right. Um, that was a seven out or was that on the come out? No, that was a seven out. So we got a new shooter. Here we go. Let's hit some inside numbers. And there's an eight. That'll work for us. That's going to pay 21. I'm going to drop the dealer one. Eight's marked. We're set up. We're pressed up and ready to hit some more inside numbers. There's a five. Great. This $20 bet is going to pay 28. We're going to go ahead and collect $6 and then bump everything up again. So now we've got, well, we can change these out if we want, clean it up a little bit. These are quarters. This is $30. And now we will just collect for a third hit and then we'll come off. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, we got a three, three craps. And we've got a 10. See an inside number shooter, there's an eight, we hit our point. So that 30 is gonna win $35. Puck's gonna come off and we're gonna go off. Go ahead and rack that up. Again, I don't think he mentioned whether we go ahead and regress back down to, you know, 15 and 18 for the next shooter or what. Um, we don't really have enough money, so let's go ahead and uh, what do we do here? Let's go ahead and risk it. Let's have it working on the come out. We're going to stay at our level and we're just going to keep collecting. I think this shooter is going to do us well here. Let's go. Coming out. Same shooter. And it's going to be four. Four is the point. And we've got an eight. So that's going to win 35. That's one hit. Looking for two more hits. And not going to happen. Seven. Yikes. So hopefully me variating from his strategy a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't blame me too much, but we just got butchered at the beginning with all the sevens. So sadly, this was a very short video, but hey, 
that's the way the dice roll sometimes. Um, that's just what happens. So again, Crispy from Colorado. I sh I'm sorry I couldn't have a better uh, roll for you. I know it didn't really demonstrate the strategy very well, but it did show people no matter what, you know, if the dice don't, you know, part cooperate, then you're just, you know, there's nothing else you can do. So again, Chris, thank you. And um, yeah, and let me know in the comments what you think. If this is what you play, I know I play inside numbers. Um, it, you know, you just need the dice to help out, oh, come on. Well, whether you play this strategy or some other strategy when you're headed to the casino, good luck on coloring up.